Hey guys, welcome back. I've been wanting to make a video and I, I, I haven't. I've, I've put this off. Um, but I've had several people ask me about my health issues and what's going on with me. Well, first of all, I have what's called gastroparesis. Gastroparesis basically is a paralyzed stomach. When I eat, food goes into my stomach and very rarely does it digest. My stomach just does not digest. So, why is my camera like jerking? That is so crazy. Sorry guys. I haven't done a vlog from the car for a while, so. But anyway, so what happens is I tend to get sick a lot. And um, if you see me a lot of times, I'm very exhausted. I even almost start to fall asleep talking even. And a lot of that is because of medication. And number two is because I don't sleep a lot. I have this almost like phobia of sleeping because when I get sick when I vomit in my sleep I will inhale it and I wake up feeling like I'm gonna die and I get so scared that and it hurts so bad because what happens is I'm inhaling vomit into my lungs my face is so swollen today but I'm inhaling it into my lungs basically undigested food and liquids into my lungs and it burns so bad I will go into these crazy coughing fits for hours and hours and hours and, and I, I just, <laughs> it's so much easier when I'm awake because then I can pay attention and I, you know, I'm not laying down and breathing and trying to get sick at the same time. It's a nightmare. So I get to the point where I get so afraid to fall asleep. I got a couple hours of sleep last night, not much because I woke up and getting sick. But I wind up getting a form, it's like a form of pneumonia, it's a type of infection that you get from having food get into your lungs. From as It's called aspirating. Aspirating is when you breathe into food into your lungs. So, there's two different main types of people with gastroparesis, the ones that lose a lot of weight, and there's one that tend to maintain or even gain weight. I tend to maintain the same weight. I've basically been the same weight except for when I've had really bad times when I've gotten sick and I've dropped down. I'm 190 pounds right now and I do drop down to, I've dropped down to like 120, 130, which is very underweight for me. I'm 5'10 and I tend to be a little larger build. So... What my body does is anything I eat, it just grabs and grabs and grabs calories. Plus, I tend to eat more carbs than anything. And the reason why I eat more carbs than anything, that they're easier to digest in the stomach than, um, like, proteins. Proteins are hard to break down in your stomach. Um, when I eat meats and, and, you know, heavier meals like that, it's rough on me. Um one of the worst things I ever, and I'm so bad about doing it, is eating chocolate. Regular milk chocolate or dark chocolate is the worst for me. But what happens when I eat that, it just, I guess gives me so much acid or just, I don't know, I've been told before that I had an allergy to chocolate, but God forbid, you know, who, who the hell is going to tell you not to eat chocolate? <laughs> Just because you're allergic to something doesn't mean you don't like it and it doesn't, it tastes any worse. <laughs> so, but anyhow, I was diagnosed with this about five years, six years ago. And I battle back and forth with my doctors because as I was saying, there's two types of people. I, I tend to maintain my weight. I fluctuate, I fluctuate around 40 pounds which is like not something they even really care about. They just think, oh, you're okay, don't worry about it. But I also have Barrett's disease. Barrett's disease is basically precancerous cells that are in your esophagus, and they are from having um, robot acid reflux, um, which is a part of having gastroparesis. I have a lot of acid in my stomach. And my insurance doesn't believe that I need to take my medication, so they don't like to pay for it, and it's very expensive. I can't afford the extra $300. So, 20, 40, 60, 60. sorry, I'm at the bank. <laughs> I can't even think straight. I need to put money in my bank, and I can't even think how much I need to put in there. 
and that always nice. But anyway, so the doctors don't like to always treat it because I'm not underweight. Um, you see many people, they'll even put them on a feeding tube, which I have not had the unfortunate not pleasure of. It's very uncomfortable, but I've never had to go to that point. I have had to go on to um, liquid diets. I have had to go on to very restricted diets. And I have put myself on extremely crazy diets at times. And mainly it's just because I'm not comfortable. Like today, I'm very, very uncomfortable. I had half half a big grilled chicken sandwich. And that is... Uh, you go through these things. It's, it's called a bloat. Because technically you get bloated. And my stomach will bloat to where I look six months pregnant. And it is once again not very comfortable um but doctors don't like to treat it like i said i'm not i'm not dangerously underweight so they look at it as hey you're fat you're fine that's not how it is also um your sugar tends to run higher because when you're when your stomach is having this your gallbladder doesn't work right your liver doesn't work right nothing really works right because you don't have the nutrition going into your small intestine. Your small once it hits your small intestine, that um, I'm not a doctor or a scientist, but once it hits your small intestine, it wakes kind of wakes everything up and you know gets everything ready to digest the nutrients. Well, when you have basically just someone that's eating a lot of carbs, which carbs turn into sugar. So, I'm basically eating sugar, <laughs> technically all the time. So, my sugar runs high. Sugar runs high, then they think, oh, well, you got diabetes. Well, you know what? There's a lot of things with gastroparesis you need to take into account. And my doctors are horrible about not doing this. I even had a doctor take a piece of tape and put it on my mouth and tell me I needed to lose weight that I ate too much. And I explained to him, I don't eat that much. I really don't. And he says, well, you didn't get that way not eating. No, I got this way because I've had gastroparesis probably most of my life. And I've never proper had a proper, you know, diet because my body doesn't accept it. So, it's really... There's not a lot known about gastroparesis. And um, there are studies being done about it. Uh, I forget it. I think it's in September. Is gastroparesis awareness month? Is it September? I can't remember right now. But um, it's not something fun to live with. If you meet people with it, it it's it's very depressing. It's very. It's just something I don't like to deal with. I have to have an upper GI where they take a tube and they put it down into your stomach. I have that done once every six months. What they're doing is, is making sure that the cells of my esophagus are under control and I'm not developing basically full-blown cancer. And if that were to happen, then it winds up being a whole other story. But I tell my mom all the time which I love her to death. She's the greatest woman in the world. But I tell her all the time, you know, if something happens and I die in my sleep, I hope you show the shit out of these doctors because I'm so scared that I'm going to die in my sleep from getting sick. You know? And if I were severely sick and underweight, maybe they might treat me. I mean, I don't... What do I do? Just stop eating and, and just... I, I've done that before, just unfortunately to get them to treat me, and I wound up in the hospital very, very ill. Um, my potassium always runs low because your potassium is absorbed by your small intestines, and if I don't have food going into my small intestines, then 
my potassium runs low. When your potassium runs low, potassium affects your muscles. And I would tell you, I have Charlie horses in my legs that, that wake me up from a dead sleep. I feel like my legs are going to smack me in my forehead. They're cramping so bad and, and just spasming. But, you know, people don't understand. You can have a digestion problem and you can have, you know, issues with your stomach and not be skinny and not be underweight you know and they just they don't get it you know I eat to the point where I, I, I just I maintain this weight um, if I do go into where I start cutting down into my food I will lose weight but then I found this has happened to me before it's hard to stop because once I start losing weight then it's just downhill from there um, it's, it's a vicious circle and it's really, it's very painful to have this, especially when I have these real bad bloats. I feel like, like I said, my stomach stretches out to, to, it looks like I'm six or eight months pregnant. I've had people even ask me that. And you know, that's like the worst thing as a girl. Oh, congratulations. Well, no, I'm actually... I went into menopause early even, and I, that has a lot to do with just a lot of the health issues. I also have, have a liver disease. You know, I was such a healthy kid. I was so athletic growing up. I was a synchronized swimmer. I was in marching band, you know, and then I become an adult and I have this. And, you know, on top of being hit, I was hit by a car walking and I have seven herniated discs in my back three of which were operated on removed well they removed them they built a they put spacers in and built a titanium cage around my spine but i have three is it three or four herniations in my neck still they wanted to fuse them eventually i need to have a hip replacement i'm just like falling apart <laughs> um osteoporosis is, is is an issue because i don't get i don't get the nutritions that I need you know basically yeah my body gets plenty of sugar and plenty of starches and you know whatnot but I don't get everything else and you know everything goes through your stomach and if your stomach doesn't work then what do you do I'm just some days I wish I would wake up and I could just be normal and it's you know why can't I be normal but you know what everybody has their own shit to deal with so it is what it is. Have a great day, guys. I hope this answered some of your questions as far as, you know, some of the health issues and stuff I've mentioned all along. I finally just figured I would go ahead and come out and tell you guys. So, it is what it is. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.